Now, I realized in the last episode that when people were talking and I was talking, it coughed rather loud and couldn't quite hear me. So, um, yeah, I had to turn it down. But anyway, let's get on with it. I've also started, um, uh, which we call it, um, doing stamps in the episodes, so that if you want to just watch certain bits, you can. I'll do it to uh, all the episodes, so yeah. Previously on Game of Thrones. It's a bit too quiet. But now I realize it might be far more entertaining to watch Lud tear you to pieces. Last house standing, Winch. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. What you need more than anything is an ally. I have to get in there, Sarah. Look, I can't get you in. Marjorie's already furious with you. You owe me for this. You're weak, just like Ethan was. Making Duncan his sentinel. Take this traitor away. Damien, <gasps> where are you? Tell your uncle. Let me save your life and our house. Iron from ice, brother. Iron from ice. I hate the fact that you choose between Asher and Roderick. That's so cruel and yet so telltale. Nice. Gary. God. Can you see anything? Is it the North Grove? I don't know yet. Hear the werewolves whisper. I haven't seen any werewolves this far north. The North Grove. Beneath the watchful eye of the Ice Dragon. The Ice Dragon? Forester Sigil. Those look like ironwood trees. That must be it. We're close. I think I found it. You found it? Are you sure? We can't afford to waste any more time. Not with the condition he's in. I found it, Sylvie. Right under the eye of the ice dragon. Just like it says on the map. You hear that? Hey, eh? It must be close. I hope you're right. I don't know how much further he can go. We need to keep moving. His wound is getting worse. He burns. He burns like all seven L's combined. Oh. Oh. I wonder if he should have just tied the Listen, Garrett. Bench. I know I'm not well. And up here, up here that can get you killed. But you've always been there for me. If anything. 
something happens. I want you to leave me. You take Sylvie and don't look back. Promise me, Garrett. I need to know you'll do it. Sylvie would never stand for it. She'd never leave you behind. Which is why it'll have to be you, Garrett. I mean this, Garrett. If I'm gone, Sylvie will need someone to look after her. I know she's stubborn and proud. But she's a good person. You know you can count on me. Thank you, Garrett. I know she can hold her own, but she's still my little sister. Well, maybe not for long. I mean... What are you doing? I found oh, Nightshade. It's poisonous, but in small doses it can help with pain. It's rare this far north. We can use the Nightshade to make Cotton more comfortable. Right. It'll help keep him calm, too. In the right amount. Luckily, I know how to use it. Can you help? Please tell me that's not a this. Whatever made this must be enormous. It's a giant, isn't it? It's gonna be a fucking giant. God. Seven hills. It's been torn apart. It's not frozen. Must be a fresh kill. You know what that means. It's close by. Whatever it is. Hear the werewolf's whisper. Oh no! It's just a bear. had more faith in you. Oh, fuck. Whoever they are, they can help us. Hurry! Let's go, let's go, let's go!
Hy-Vees. Wait! Uh, no! Uh, Garrett! Tell them! Uh. I represent House Forrester, our squire to Lord Gregor himself. That's an introduction, I guess. Season two, if they if they, if they ever fucking make one. Second season, I mean, obviously. But yeah. Back with the mirror. Queen says he's not gonna be happy. Oh, we don't go there. It's just uh it happened off screen, I guess. Directed by Kurt Mundell, or whatever that was. If any of them could keep us. Oh, please, Lady Marjorie. Please don't send me back to Highgard. Finally, you grace us with your presence. I was beginning to think you'd found someone else to serve. Sorry if I kept you waiting. I came as quickly as I could, my lady. I'll get to you in a moment. Do you realize how precarious my position is with Cersei? Of course, my lady. Of all the people in King's Landing, you steal from the Queen I Regent. I didn't mean... Did you know about this? Sarah's been stealing wine. From Cersei, no less. As if I haven't got enough to worry about. No, my lady. It doesn't sound like something Sarah would do. Is that so? I had no idea. Really? Half the servants in the keep are talking about it, but somehow you're in the dark? <sighs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't get so flustered. It's just... I need order in my household. Until I'm married to Tommen, I can't afford any more mistakes. Apologies, Sarah. I have no choice but to make changes among my handmaidens. Tommen's garden party, Mira. What were you thinking? I can't believe you'd be so irresponsible. I expected better of you. It was a foolish mistake, Lady Marjorie. We shouldn't have disobeyed you. At least you're honest about it. Sarah's been saying some damning things about you, Mira. I suspect in an effort to save her own neck. My lady, please! You've said enough. One of you must answer for this. Sarah says you used her to get you into the party. You've been with me a long time, Mira. When I'm queen, I'll need people I can count on. Please, tell me this isn't true. Mira, please. I can't go back to Highgarden. Well, you should have you thought about that. You promised me you'd take the blame for this. Should have Sneaking thought me that. into the party was Before Sarah's idea. Boy, you betrayed Liar! me. Liar! Lady Marjorie, please! Let her speak. She forced me to come with her. Mira! How could you? I 
trusted you, and you betrayed me! Because it's the truth, Sarah. Lady Marjorie has been good to us. She deserves our honesty. And that's what she's getting from you? You deceitful, treacherous... One day, all of this will catch up to you, Mira. You'll end up with a knife in your back or your head on a spike. And when that day comes, I'll pray to the Seven for your soul. That's enough, Sarah. Consider yourself dismissed from my service. But my lady... I said enough. Yeah, Get out of my sight before you make before. things worse. But I want to just see how different the next part of the story plays oh, out. Oh, such a sweet girl when she came to us. Why would she lie to me like that? Why would she betray my trust? Perhaps I did something to turn her against me. She lied about her name, about who she was. Her whole life is dishonest. The only wonder is that we didn't see it sooner. Oh, I suppose you're right. For all the trouble you've brought, I'm glad you came to me. I think of you as more than just my handmaiden. You're a friend. An ally, even. I've not been the best handmaid to you, I know. Nor have you been the worst. But we both know you're not cut out for it. Not anymore. I have to distance myself from you for a time. What? Why? There are rumors circulating. Stupid lies about you and a murdered Lannister guard. But stupid lies can be dangerous. I can't be associated with this or with you until you put it to rest. I hope you understand. When I'm queen, I can help you again. Maybe we can help each other. Until then, be careful, Mira, and goodbye. Okay, so not that different, so she can't help me. Correctly, like getting the info from Tyrion if I could get away with it or not. Hmm. This is interesting. Made a choice I've not chosen before. Mm. Ooh, Asha. They're right behind us. Less than half an inch. You were right, my lord. I know that snot nosed bastard Griff. He was sent to kill me, not Roderick. He wouldn't run home to his father without trying again. Listen close! I want the road surrounded. Ride hard for Ironrath. Don't turn back. If this goes to hell, they'll need to know about Roderick. Yeah! Lay low and be ready to strike the moment I give the order. And what order is that, Asher? Take no prisoners! Seven hells! Take them! Kill the quarterstaff! He's a bloody coward. Yeah, your brother was the coward. You should have seen him squeal. When Griff gutted him like a pig. <laughs> 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 
We're going to kill them all for this. Roderick. I wish I had known him, Asher. I'll never get to drink with him, fight by his side. Complain about what Nas, his little brother, is. Roderick was everything that I'm not. He was shrewd where I'm reckless. He was just. Roderick, he kept this house together through, through sheer force of will. My brother was a true lord. They'll sing songs about him someday. But you're the lord here now, like it or not, by the laws of your land. And to these men, you've more than proven yourself. I know. If I don't become lord, Roderick's sacrifice, everything we went through, will be for nothing. You'll make Roderick proud. Make your father proud. If only he could see me now. <laughs> we have to go, my lord. And Lud Whitehill will be on the march. Let's move! Considering I was supposed to get an army, not a lot of people came. Mummy, I'm home. Asha! It makes no sense. We were ambushed by the White Hills. There were simply too many. If there was anything more I could have done, I swear, but... The last time I saw him, I stormed out of the room. Talia, Mother, listen to me. We don't dare take time to mourn. Not yet. Lord is sure to move quickly now. He could be at our gates before nightfall. But there's hope yet! I've brought help! Warriors from across the narrow sea! With no equal in Westeros! Whatever their skill, they are hardly an army. My lady, I've seen them twice in battle. I've seen Asher lead them. They're a force to be reckoned with and will be more than equal to whatever Lud could muster. How can you say that? We've already lost. What are you talking about? Ramsay Snow. He came here. He set terms of war. He said the last house standing wins. And with the Lord of House Forrester dead. I fear she's right. By the terms put forth by the Boltons, we don't have a claim. Fuck Ramsay Snow. Fuck the Boltons! This war is not over until I say it is! Asher will lead us! Asher is our lord! <laughs> Asher. <laughs> not the most rousing of speeches, but I've got the job done. Asher, I wish this were a happier occasion. But... This sword! has been held by a forester lord for centuries. No, it is yours.
Asher. All hail Asher Forrester, Lord of Ironrath, defender of the Ironwood Groves. My father never trained me to be a lord. This was supposed to be Roderick's sword, but I was trained to fight. And by the gods, I will defend my father's house to the last breath. House Forrester will prevail this day! He's lying. Look at him. He's a crow. He doesn't represent the foresters. Never seen a crow this far north of the wall. Must be a deserter. I don't trust fucking deserters. And you're traveling with a wildling. All the more reason not to trust you. We need your help. My friend is sick. By the look of him, your friend is going to die. They must teach you nothing at Castle Black. I could have killed you out there, as easily then as I could now. He's a warg. The bear likes your kind even less than I do, so I suggest you shut your mouth. Your blade pierced his shoulder, and I felt the pain as if it were mine. You couldn't possibly understand what that's like. But I could make you understand. Enough, Josero. He claims to serve House Forrester. Anyone could say as much. What proof do you have? If you'd have us believe it's not a lie. I was given this by Talia Forrester before I left. It's the Forrester sigil. Made from ironwood. East. They look like crazed animals. You trust this crow? That necklace is Forrester Ironwood. No one else could craft it as well. My friend is wounded. He won't live long without our help. Hi, Vis. Him. Who is this girl? Is she a prisoner? Why else would you be traveling with a wildling? She's my friend. A wildling girl? I told you we couldn't trust him. She'll betray you the first chance she gets. My name is Elsera Snow. This is my brother, Josra. What is this place? A refuge against the forces of darkness during the long night. A place of great power to those who know how to use it. I assume that's why you're here. You're a long way from home, aren't you? There must be a reason you've come all this way. Lord Gregor's last words before he fell were, the North Grove must never be lost. What do you mean? Last words before he fell? Lord Gregor was slain at the Twins months ago, betrayed by Walder Frey. You didn't know? Of course. How could you? He has no idea who we are. Why would he? You're right. He's just a messenger. All he did was use some ironwood necklace they gave him. Why should we trust him with anything? They clearly didn't. Otherwise, he would know. I risked my life to get here. I deserted the Night's Watch, broke my vows, fought wildlings. By the gods, I deserve to know. And we should trust an Oathbreaker. 
Perhaps Lord Gregor never told anyone. I wouldn't be surprised. Better to hide his shame where no one could find out. White. Gregor went send and Bjornen. What about them? Hiftonese. What? No! Let me go! Did they teach you to fight at Castle Black? I hope they did. I can handle White. I fought the dead before. Your confidence will get you killed. He doesn't like me much, does he? This place is evil, Garrett. I can feel it. There's something wrong with these people. Those warriors. They're not normal free folk. Not like any I've ever seen. Ready. Aye. Go and kill some whites. Unless we're going to win back to King's Landing or wherever. Yeah. Thought so. Lady Mira! Wait! Tom! What is it? Guards! They're searching your room. Break it down! Search the place! <gasps> They're coming after us for the murder. Come on, we can't stay here. What's going on, Tom? Uh, Lady Marjorie said she'd heard rumors about me. It's all over the keep, my lady. They're saying you take Lannister men to your bed and murder them in their sleep. What? I, that's ridiculous. It'd be ridiculous, my lady, if soldiers weren't smashing in your door. They're saying you killed that Lannister guard. There's more. Someone sent the captain of the guard a message about you. Dropped off at the guardhouse. You mean... someone's plotting against me? What was in the message? Murder accusations, most likely. Whoever's behind this, they're making their move now. If those guards catch you... If they catch us... We've got to stay close to Lady Marjorie. That might be a bit tricky. They won't touch us if we're with her. Lady Marjorie can't help us. Not now. What? Why not? Oh, she, she just can't. Then we've had it, Lady Mira. Calm down. Panicking isn't going to help. Those guards won't stop until they find someone for Damien's death. What are we going to do, Lady Mira? How are we getting out of this one? I have to get out of the keep, or I'm done for. You, my lady? We're in this together, like it or not. Well... But I don't know how to aid you now. Tell me and I'll help you. Whatever it is, we can't stay here. I need allies, Tom. Allies with real power. If I can get an audience with Cersei, maybe she'll put a stop to this. I don't like it. But I can get her a message if it's what you want. In the meantime, there's a collier store by the river gate on Muddy Way. Meet me there. Who's there? Show yourself. Or it'll be worse for you. Get to the colliers. Tell Godwin I sent you. Goodbye, Lady Mira. The coal boy? Take him!
well. That loading screen's taking a while. Ah, there we go. Mira told us he was gathering an army. We have her to thank it's not bigger, but we can't fight that. He doesn't expect us to. He's trying to frighten us into surrender. I want every bolt aimed at Lord Whitehill the moment he appears. You must not have much faith in this army of yours if you feel the need to hide by my little brother. <laughs> you mistake me, Forrester. Ryan is here for your protection, to stop you from being stupid. You see, I'm here to end this once and for all. You got your little revenge on my men, but it's time you listen to reason. I could ram your gates down and kill every last one of you. Or we could end the bloodshed here and now. This war is over, Asher. It ended the moment Roderick fell. By Ramsay's rules, I'm the victor here. This will all be mine now. One way or another. Are you truly that blind lord? I am the lord of House Forester! <laughs> That's funny! <laughs> He's the fourth Lord Forester. I've seen in his many moons, father. <laughs> Let's put all this ugliness behind us. I'm willing to talk terms of your surrender. Surrender? Open your halls and bend the knee as my bannermen. You continue to produce ironwood? Under my supervision, of course. And you will join your house to mine. For all to see. By wedding my queen. <laughs> well, fuck me. Asher, you can't! It's rather generous terms, actually. I'll think on it. Give me a day to consider. You'll be given nothing. I will just as happily kill you all and be done with it. But I'm very generously giving you a way to keep your bloody lives. Oh, one last thing. As a show of my goodwill, I brought home the body of your lord. Your brother was too stubborn to know when it was over. Roderick, let me see him. I want to see my brother. <laughs> I'm sure your people will be relieved to keep their lives. We'll take Ryan too. But you want peace between our houses? Give me my living, brother. You have an hour. I'll be waiting in my camp. Twisted son of a bitch.
I'm sorry, little brother. I've buried too many sons. You deserved more days than what you were given, brother. And a better death than this. The world is colder for your passing. Forgive me, I, I just... Perhaps the time has come to truly let this bloodshed end. We simply accept. We bow our heads and Asher marries Gwyn. Craven! It's not the worst terms I've ever heard. I may have loved Gwyn once, but this isn't real. And Lord will have my head the moment Gwyn produces an heir. There will be no marriage. If we bow our heads now, we'll always be his slaves. We have to kill them, Asher. Aye, piss on surrender. Let's ride out and kill them all. Aye. We ride for war! We ride! Spill their blood! Believe me, I want to kill every last fucking one of them. But Lord still has Ryan. A direct attack is a sure way to see another forester dead today. But there may be another way we could win this. Lord rules that house with an iron fist. His sons, his bannermen, do nothing without his say-so. There may be 500 men outside that wall. Without Lord at the league. They'll scatter like chickens with their heads cut off. That's good, but how? Lud will not simply cast aside his men and offer his neck. Such a task is easily said, but Lud is wary. Simple. We tell Lud exactly what he wants to hear. We invite him inside to celebrate and drink to our union. And then? An ambush. Your pit fight is hidden until the last moment. No, an ambush is too chaotic. Things could go badly quickly. Lud could escape. There's another way. Poison. In his wine. A woman's weapon. Yes, and a good one. Lethal and direct. Either plan is high risk. We only lure Lud inside if the whole family is there to sell it. Talia and Ryan will both be in danger. We're already in danger. I'll be there, Duncan. I'll pour the wine myself. Poison is dog shit. You're here for revenge. You want him to choke on your blade, not his vomit. But I understand what's at stake. But poison is the surest way to see Lord dead. Then we have a plan. Too bad I can't sort of just end it here and sort of go, fucking fine. Whatever happens to me, I need you to get Ryan out alive. As soon as we move on, Lord. Not a problem. You know you're the only family I've ever had. That makes Ryan my brother, too. I won't forget this. I've forgotten the number of times I've heard you say that. I've said that before. We will avenge Roderick's death tonight, whatever it takes. Send word to Lud. We'll drink this night to the prosperous future of our united houses. She's left the key! Search the area! Lady Mira. There she is. Take her. What's all this? I'll tell you on our way. You're making a big mistake. D don't you know who this is? Doesn't matter who he is. We're here for you. This is Lord Rickard Morgren, the most powerful ironwood merchant in King's Landing. One word to your superiors, and he'll have you carted off to the wall. Rickard. Tell them how far you'd go to protect your friends. Lady Mira, I hope these men aren't bothering you. 
We have orders from Captain Lucan to- Let me worry about Lucan. You worry about buying yourselves a few tankards. On me. Thank you for keeping our city safe. It's kind of too bad he's a Can prick. I take you somewhere, Lady Meryl? Because, yeah. Because when you think he's a good guy, he is pretty The Rivergate. Good. Thank you. The Rivergate. Quick as you can. What's going on, Mira? Is there a problem? Someone's plotting against me. Plotting? What do you mean? They're spreading malicious rumors. And worse, they've set the guard after me. I see. That is worrying indeed. Clearly you've made powerful enemies here in King's Landing. Although, you've made short work of one of them at least. I hear Lord Andros has found a home in the Black Cells. I'm impressed. It seems he took on the wrong handmaiden and lost. Andros was a snake working for the White Hills. He got exactly what he deserved and no more. I'm inclined to agree. I doubt anyone will miss the oath. Something tells me that was his Of course. Now that you've gotten rid of my biggest competitor, all kinds of opportunities have opened up. Particularly in your part of the Seven Kingdoms. The Ironwood Market is wide open. A lot of gold to be made. There's opportunity enough for both of us, Lord Morgren. Think of what we could accomplish if we worked together. <laughs> I have thought about it. I've thought about it a great deal. You're clever, Mira. Getting that decree from Tyrion's chambers, I still wonder how you managed such a feat. Of course, I knew you'd be a problem when we first met. Imagine, a handmaiden stealing the Crown's ironwood contract from under my nose. That's why I bribed that Lannister guard to kill you. Don't look so surprised. You must have known you'd become a target sooner or later. Killing Lannister guards does not go unnoticed. You... you two-faced shit! Don't you have any honor? Honor? Do you think I got where I am because of honor? We've both seen what happens to honorable men. After Lud takes Ironwood, he and I will control the Ironwood trade entirely. You've been very helpful, Mira. But it's time to get you out of the way. Can't have you complicating things. The White Hills don't understand Ironwood. They can't take care of the forests. You may control the trade, but they'll run it into the ground. Only the foresters really know those woods. You're a fool not to see that. If they leave the hills bare, I'll find another forest. I couldn't care less, and neither should you, because you'll be dead. For a bunch. We've arrived. Now get out of my fucking litter! Oh. Luca, I fancy coming across you here. I seem to have found something you're looking for. That you have, my lord. I've been searching for this murderer a long time. Finally, I got her. You've got the wrong person. I... I've done nothing wrong! Shut your liar's mouth! It's time you answered for your crimes. Take her to the cells. Chin up, Mera. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, the headsman will be quick. Back in the North Grove. Forgive my brother's temper. Good evening. It's said over time wargs adopt the traits of their animal. 
And your news was... unexpected. You see, Gregor Forrester was our father. And we are his bastards. I doubt anyone knows. It was his dark secret. And he feared his family would find out. That's why you're here, isn't it? I suppose. Josra would say he banished us to hide his shame. But I like to think it's because he knew what we were. That he was protecting us in his own way. We thought one day Gregor would come and see everything we've built. But instead it was you. You are the first to arrive. It must have been a difficult journey. Few try. And fewer still live to tell about it. I wouldn't have made it alone. I had help from my friend, Cotter, and, and Sylvie. But they were following your lead. You were the one who was sent by House Forrester. True. Our father entrusted us with protecting the North Grove. That has always been our purpose. But we've learned there's a power here, Garrett. A power we've only just begun to understand. Winter is coming. And we haven't much time. Gregor Ven Fionn and Bjorn Sager Ven. Svealod Mopre Befasta! Why didn't you just stay at the camp and walk into the bear? I mean, I guess so that if the bear does, you can jump up and attack. Although, I haven't really read the books, so I'm not sure if the animal dies, does the host die as well. I don't mean when he's outside, like when he's lying in his own body, but like, yeah.
Not good. Did you know him? Maybe I'm wrong, but you keep looking at him. <sighs> he was my friend. His name was Finn. He was here because of me. I let him join when we left Castle Black. That was his choice. It's not your fault. Now his watch is ended. You fought well. For a crow. I saved your life. I wouldn't go that far. Although I admit, you can fight. Maybe they did teach you something at Castle Black. Is that your way of thanking me? Maybe I was wrong about you. We'll see. Once I've done... I'm Killing gonna... them I don't mind. It's the burning that stays with you. I'm gonna do You'll like never a... forget that stench. What if... Kind of, uh... What if slash... Did you see theory? what they just did? They don't oh. care about their own. My sister has trained them well. Of like what season two could or would be. Emotion is a weakness, according to her. There's something off about them. I'm not sure what. They've been trained to fight. Nothing else matters but that. They're more my sister's doing, not mine. The Whites grow bolder by the day. Ever since the Wildling tribes went south with Man's Raider. I need to go back. Are you alright? You don't look well. It's nothing. I'm fine. I should return to the village. Fulgorn Vicenir. Did you not hear me? Fogoren, Suna! What? Wait! Fogoren, Vicenir. You're losing control. What was that? It's blood magic. The more she uses it, the weaker she becomes. And they can sense it. Elsa is a fool to keep taking these risks. One day, they'll kill us all if we're not careful. Is there some way to help her? She is convinced her blood magic is the only way to protect the North Grove. That her warriors are the answer. But she can't control it. I worry about her. It's more dangerous than she knows. She was right about one thing, though. The Whites are growing bolder. And the worst is yet to come. That's unsettling. Now that my father's dead, there's no reason to stay. That's why he sent you, isn't it? To bring us back to Einrath. To crush our enemies south of the wall. And avenge his death. You're right. House Forrester needs our help. We could return south. Think of what we could do. I'm sure we could convince Elsera to join us. I know what my father said. The North Grove can never be lost. But he wouldn't want us to die because of it. And uh, once the Night King's dead, you can always come back and forest. The forest. Where's Sylvie? Never trust a fucking wildling. Come on, she's not that bad. She's actually kind of cute. How long she's been there? A while. So she's got it like a few weeks, maybe. <laughs> ah! 
Jailer! Please. Shut it! Please come here! How strong are these bars? I wonder if I can pry it loose. I wouldn't do to get out of here. Excuse me. What do you want? Can you get me out of here? Because if not, I don't want to know. Hey, no talking. Jailer, Jailer, come over here. Oh, don't you start again. Why don't you come here for a moment? We can have a little chat about it. God's woman, I said shut it. Or I will come in there, and you won't like what happens. Well, what do you want then? Tell me, please. I'll do anything. Just tell me! Ugh, bastard! Before the day's over, they'll take us. Straight to the block. So don't give me that look. You can leave the judgment to the Father. Whatever gods you believe in. I'm sorry, I, I meant no offence. We have to keep our heads held high, even when everything else is taken from us. <laughs> I have a son, a little baby boy. I think of the smell of his skin, his tuft of brown hair. There is nothing I wouldn't do, nothing. Just to hold him again. Dignity is worthless compared to that. What would you do in my place? I'll never see him again. People will tell your son about you. Stories about what you were in life. Give him a story he can be proud of. But you've no idea what I've done. Doesn't matter what we've done. All that matters now is what we do next. Alright, so I have to talk to her. I figure, but... Mira! Making friends already, I see. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. What? Nothing to say? Block will do that to you. They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. <coughs> Enough! I've come to talk. I've come to make you an offer. I was thinking about what you said. And I've come to the conclusion you're right. Lud will likely ruin every forest under his control. Well, how Only you... foresters know how to really work ironwood. That's useful. 
And then I realized there's something much more valuable than your knowledge of trees, Mira. Your name. I want you as my wife. Your wife? Do you do all your wooing in cells? I'm new to courting, but I imagine less violence and intimidation. Wars are won and lost in the marriage bed, Mira. Kingdoms, too. And I want my own kingdom. I'll start with an old and noble house, with a keep like Ironrath. It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros, but it's a start. Marrying me won't help you get Ironrath. The title belongs to my brother. He's the rightful lord. <laughs> I'm well aware of the king's law, Mira. You think I haven't thought about that? Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. <laughs> One way or another. And it won't take me long to get rid of the harebrained fool myself. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive. Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. Until I cut your throat in your sleep. <laughs> Doubtless you'd try, given half the chance. But you won't be. It's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my heirs. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. One word from me, that cowboy takes your place on the block. Tom! All you have to do is agree to marry me. You'll give up your power. You'll give up your ancestral home. But you'll be alive. So, Mira, what do you say? chance of surviving and getting revenge against him. She won't get far. Not out here. Let me go! Sylvie! When you're finished here, come see me. There's something I must show you. I don't trust these people, Garrett. Which is why I had to see Cotter. He's not well. And he, he won't live much longer. I'm sorry, Sylvie. I need you to do something for me. I didn't want him to suffer anymore, Garrett. Just to ease his pain, but... That's when they found me. The nightshade. I need you to be the one to end his suffering. What? It's our way, Garrod. You have to feed it to him. I'm trusting you to do this, Garrod. You're the only one who can. I will. You can trust me. I'll do the right thing. Thank you, Garrett. He's in so much pain. Not sure exactly what the 
bastard child of the uh, Drago wants to do with um, him, but I know it can't be good. I think once she gets away from the North Grove, she'll get better. I did everything within my power to help your friend. But I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? You realize it's deadly. And has no place in here. I promised Sylvie I'd give it to him. To end his suffering. I don't know what that wildling told you. But that will kill him and taint his blood. <coughs> It's me, Cotter. I'm here. Where's Sylvie? I want to see her. Where is she? Did something happen to her? Don't worry. She's right outside. She sent me to help you. I thought, I thought they took her away. Incredibly brave. A lesser man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. This wasn't supposed to happen. I always thought he'd be here, fighting by my side. But now you can use this death to give his life meaning. This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove. Forged from iron, the handle made with ironwood from this very tree. In my father's absence, you speak for House Forester. It seems only right that you should have this now. You're here for a reason, Garrett. It's no accident they sent you. I promise. I'll make Lord Forester proud. I know you'll do what's necessary. <sighs> Necessary. Your friend is dying, but his life is too valuable to waste. Give me his heart, his beating heart, and his death can have meaning. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrett. An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North Grove. But... We must do this, Garrett. I fear what might happen if we don't. Beating heart. This is madness. Not madness. Necessity. Madness would be letting the North Grove fall. You saw what happened after the fight. My warriors, they're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. For me, for the North Grove. I'm ready. Garrett. Any longer. End his suffering. Use his life to make us strong, Garrett. What? Give him that poison, and his blood will be useless. But I'll keep up. I'm sorry. I can't do it. Cotter's my friend. I wouldn't be here if not for him. And I have to respect what Sylvie asked me to do. Then so be it.
Baron Weissenair. You really should stop using. We must burn record. the body. In the name of the King, I hereby sentence you to death. <laughs> Get over there! This boy has been charged with murdering a loyal servant of the King. Who here bears witness to his crimes? My betrothed can speak to them. Is this true, my lady? My lady! Then in the name of the king, I sentence you to die. Lady Mira, please! Please, this isn't right! Come along, Mira. I have a busy day ahead. You know, you've done a good job at making a game when it makes you flinch, shiver, whatever. When a character dies, it's like, fuck, no, no, that's not right. That's not right. But, yeah. The wine is ready, my lord. Your sister will pour. Once they're all seated, give the signal. Remember, no matter how much they might provoke you, we must let them think they've won. That's them. Here we go. Win. Clever. Send the girl first. Don't let her play with your head, little brother. Lady Forrester. My apologies for arriving unannounced. I was hoping I might have a word in private with Asher. I think we can agree these are not ideal circumstances. Agreed. <laughs> but these are the circumstances we find ourselves in. I know how you must feel, Asher. What your family has suffered, it's unimaginable. Which is why the bloodshed must stop. I agreed to your father's terms, didn't I? You did. But I know you, Asher. You're not the one to roll over so easily. You don't like being pushed into a corner. It's not in your nature. It would be a lie if I said otherwise. I appreciate your honesty. I'll need that from you if this is to work. You have to understand. I've risked everything to bring peace between our houses. To meet with Roderick in secret. To tell him of the traitor within these very walls. To make sure no harm came to Ryan as our ward. All while persuading my father the bloodshed would end if we were to wed. I have no ulterior motive, no hidden agenda. Just peace, once and for all. Your brother is too unpredictable. It just as soon slit my throat as see us wed. And I can't forget that he was the one who killed my brother. That was before. I'll see Griff exiled if that would put your mind at ease. Truth be told, my father's scared of you. Is he? With Roderick, he knew who and what he was dealing with. But you, he thinks you're dangerous. You proved as much when you attacked his men. They came after us. I know. And that's all in the past now, I promise. We can make this work, Asha. This is our one chance. Together we can control the future of our houses. 
Just promise me, when my father and brother walk through that door, nothing will happen that could threaten that future. Our future. I need your assurance. Nothing will happen. I promise. Nothing will happen. Thank you, Asher. I knew I could trust you. Begging your pardon, my lord. I'm afraid Lady Forrester requires your help. Of course. I should go. Thank you, Asher. What help does my mother need? Sorry, my lord. It was the best I could think of. But we have everything in place. How should we proceed? The plan is off. I'm gonna marry Gwyn. Of course, my lord. I will see to it at once. Mum's not gonna be very happy, but... You know... It's like... If this was canon, I feel like this would be the like most canon um, way things would end. And the most of thrones. I'm sorry it's come to this, but at least it's done. Where's my son? Right to it then. I love that even though he's a dick. Mother! He's very <gasps> Like you could imagine oh, oh, my baby. Oh, my baby. <laughs> Enough slobbering. You have him back when we've hammered out the details of your surrender. Lord Whitehill. Asher. Now, who'd ever have imagined this? You welcoming me into your hall to drink your wine and call me father. <laughs> I thought I'd see the last of you when Gregor shipped you off to the other side of the bloody world. You honor us, Lord Whitehill, with your presence. And with this union. Honor you? I didn't take you for an arse licker, Forrester. Father, don't bicker. Asher's showing you respect. Somehow, I doubt it. Would you like to sit down, Lord Whitehill? Aye. And get me something to drink. I'm bloody parched. We thought you'd like to sit here, Lord Whitehill. I'll sit there. Thank you very much. In the Lord's chair. It's not like your father wanted your worthless ass in it. Our hall is yours, Lord Whitehill. Make yourself comfortable. Of course it's my bloody hall. But you're too ready to give it over. Your false smiles don't fool me, Forrester. Calm down, Father. Asher's just showing you the respect you deserve. What's going on? What opportunity is slipping away? Asha, what have you done? Let me deal with this, Mother. Tell me we're still going through with this. We're not. Why would you do such a thing? We had a plan. Now everything is at risk. There's been enough killing, Mother. The bloodshed ends here. <sighs> Asha, is everything all right? Fine. Thank you. You cannot let this happen. I refuse to stand by and watch you throw away everything. What are you two on about? I thought this was a celebration. Yet here you are, bickering like children. Over what? Father. I will not be silenced. Something's not right. I'm sure Asha can explain. Everything's fine, right? Let me be clear. Gwyn and I intend to marry. We will be wed. As promised. This will be the ruin of our house. That's enough, Mother. Ah! <laughs> they betrayed us. 
Red button, super mode. My lord, the White Hill Force is upon us. Tell army! My lord, your wound. Get them to safety. Of course. But I won't abandon you, not again. Please, mother. Yeah. 
Forrester. You've come a long way to die. <laughs> Another law die on my watch. I can't run. You must survive, Asher. For the house. For all of us at Port this day. Now. Roderick's dead. 
dead, so she's no longer engaged to him. You'd hope that that thing would end the engagement. But yeah. did the right thing. I did what I had to do. He was your friend. Even though we've been preparing for it all our lives, now we don't have much time. We were sent here for a reason, to protect the North Grove. Winter is coming, and we have a role to play in the war to come. Our father never would have wanted us to stand by and see House Forester fall. Not while we can still do something about it. It's too late to reach Ironrath. It may already be lost. Gregor trusted you for a reason. You know defending House Forester is the right thing to do. You're the one they sent, Garrett. You should be the one to decide. House Forester needs our help. So we'll gather our forces and march south. May the gods guide us and protect us. They were nothing but Stark loyalists. And the Starks are dead. Are you listening, Reek? Father wanted to make sure they bend the knee. And what do I find? A child lord. Ethan the Bold. <laughs> With some parasite by his side. As if I'd come to negotiate. <laughs> and I thought, oh, this is going to be fun. Mira was so devoted when we first came to King's Landing. That day Cersei dragged her before the throne, Grandmother, I was actually worried for her. But she didn't have any trouble swearing loyalty to Joffrey right in front of me. And then that whole business with Tyrion? She stayed loyal to me when it mattered. But now, with all that's happened to her, who knows what Mira was doing behind my back? 
Grandmother, it makes me question if she was ever loyal to me at all. I saw something of myself in Garrett Tuttle. I thought I could trust in him, Sam, but I was wrong. He gave me his word that he'd stay true to the vows he'd made in the Godswood. Yet before a day was out, a brother was dead at the foot of the wall. I needed his sword at Craster's. I defended him to Frostfinger, and it cost me. Whatever happened up there, a man of the watch doesn't run away. Who should return then? But another Lord Forrester. Roderick. He was quite the bold one, Reek. Trying to stab me with my own blade. And ruining Griff's little humiliation by climbing out of the mud again and again and again. I was rather starting to like him. A shame he didn't last longer. The savior who couldn't save anyone. There was something about Asher Forrester. You would have liked him, Miss Sandai. He was rude and aggressive, mind you. But he, he didn't play games. Asher needed my help. I needed to know if he deserved it, so I tested him. But there was no easy answer. But then he told me the truth. He'd risked losing all he had come here for to stand by his friend, a former slave. In the end, that mattered more than disobeying an order. Loyalty. Friendship. Respect. Without them, we have... nothing. I don't know if Mira ever understood that, Grandmother. I know she told me the truth about Sarah, but she also broke a promise to Sarah to keep a secret. In the end, I respect that she was willing to do whatever it took to get what she wanted. But at what cost? I could have told you this story wasn't going to have a happy ending. Roderick dead, his mother dead, his little pile of timber in ruins. I just wish I'd been there to see it. That Bolton bastard let their upstart houses go to war, father. I'm not unfamiliar with these foresters. Stubborn to the end. They fought hard, I'll give them that, but they were reckless. Shrewd when they should have been bold. Impetuous to the last. When will these northerners ever learn? The Starks are dead. The war is over. And they lost. That's right. You nearly know, forgot about this, wait, this bit. I saw what you were trying to do. They wouldn't listen to reason. We will overcome this. Reminds me of like a combination of 
few of the first seasons, like see, same combination of season one to three, um, but with foresters instead of uh, the stands. And it starts at the end of like season three or something with the uh, you know, Red Wedding. But if you watch the previous parts, you know that. Anyway, what I'm going to do is. Over the next few days, I'm going to write a few scripts, and we're going to uh, do my first script, script in the vault, slash, um, what should I call it? I don't know. Um, and yeah, basically do a um, what-if slash theory of what season two should, could, or maybe, or like, bits of it and stuff. I'll be playing, like, I'll do an episode at a time, and I'll follow a character at a time, and, um, yeah, I'll basically, um, just do episode one, um, Asher, uh, Garrett, etc, etc, and I'll, I'll do it based on the characters that I chose, the choices that I chose in this walkthrough, playthrough, whatever you call it so that it doesn't get too confusing, but I will have, like, I'm gonna have, like, give the, cho give them, uh, I'll give the characters choices, and then I'll say what I would do, and then continue on the choice, as if that was the choice that I made. It'll make more sense when I actually do it. But, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm going to take a break from gaming for a little bit, and focus on writing my book and etc. Uh, when I do come back I will um, continue on with Mafia and then we'll see what I do next. But thanks everyone for watching and sticking with me through this. Um, and yeah, uh, like it if you liked it, subscribe and hit that bell if you haven't yet so you're always notified when I upload a new video. And yeah, See you next time, and stay frosty. See ya.